Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and Oh, I'm finally glad he's gone. So <laughs> at this point I I found kinda hilarious that both lefties, right wingers hated the, the gas of this tiny hat because he's a tiny hat. I'm just going to show you what's going on. Oh well, what really happened over the course of history? From Cambodia to Bangladesh, a brief history of Henry Kissinger's alleged war crimes. Henry Kissinger sided with military dictators and mass Minecrafter regimes in his pursuit of projecting US power during the Cold War. Oh, well, he, he was him after all, with, along with Nixon, resulting in the deaths of millions of innocents, Bevan Horley reports. So you have this motherfucker in his eight years at the helm of US foreign policy, Henry Kissinger, unique brand of real political diplomacy was blamed for mass minecraftings, massacres, struggle, snuggle and torture on an industrial scale. Industrial, well <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, the police of the world and all of the fucking shit that destroyed a lot of countries have put them in a lot of misery. A tiny hat that escaped the, the funny camps. And he aligned with Francisco Franco, the, <laughs> the Nazi dictator. Oh, fucking hell, man. And honestly, that's why... I'm, I'm more paranoid considering what happened in World War II, considering someone like him existed and did all this shit and his origins. The architect of US efforts to contain the Soviet Union? Uh, no, I don't think so. But, well, you, you, you actually you did some fuck ups in the process just to contain them, let's just say. During the Cold War, prioritized ideology over morality and was responsible for. The deaths of 3 or to 4 million people between the years of 1969 and 1976. According to the experts, including Yale University historian Greg Grandin, the author of Kissinger's Shadow. And you have the fucking scumbag in almost passing away. Uh, but well, there is a phrase in. In Spanish that says Hierba mala nunca muere Which means The seed The bad seed never dies So That would mean You can only find justice when these ones pass it away after all the damage they done They never face consequences and that's why What's very common in politics it happens a lot. As Secretary of State under the Nixon and Ford administration, he pursued an interventionist approach to world affairs that shaped the thinking of a generation of neocons who would come after him. In his 2001 book, The Trial of Henry Kissinger, legendary British author Christopher Hitchens methodically laid out the case for the grand old US statesman to be prosecuted for security to commit minecrafting, kidnap and torture. Hitchens brought that the US could either persist in adverting the case from the egregious impunity enjoyed by a notorious war criminal and lawbreaker, or they can become seized by certain standards to which they continually call everyone else. Ah, uh, it's very common. I you have Kissinger with Nixon, and probably Kissinger with Bush, Kissinger with Barack Obama, especially that piece of shit did a lot of killing there. And let's continue. Kissinger, who died at the age of well, 100 at his home in Connecticut on Wednesday, 29 November, leaves behind a tainted legacy. Well, no, it's a, not tainted, it's just a fucking legacy. The, the legacy he wanted. For a reason. 
as National Security Advisor and Secretary of State that will only emerge years after the fact that as U.S. record were declassified, dictatorial regimes removed and recognized established it. His world view was shaped by his experiences growing up as a Jew under the Nazis in Germany. <laughs> oh man, uh, when I hear that phrase, uh, yeah, shaped by his, his history growing up. So he said, you know what? They did this to my people. Now I want to do it to everyone else because I found, maybe I found some joy in that. And just like George Soros. Fucking asshole. Ty prioritizes his need to project American strength toward its communist adversaries. You show it that projection of all over the world and it's never going to be away. And a lot of countries just waiting for your fucking wokeness to destroy you. That's why. And led to disastrous consequences for countries caught in the crossfire of his Machiavellian strategies. Latin, Latin America, all of... A whole continent, yeah, they got screwed up by this fucker. So let's jump to uh, to his hands. Cambodia. Nowhere has the impact of Kissinger's influence been more keenly felt than in Cambodia, where his role in expanding the Vietnam War through a secret bombing. Yeah, secret. Sure. Campaign in 69, a grim incursion by US forces. The following year leaves a festering wound on the Southeast Asian nation. Ah, uh, to this day, the United States dropped over. Oh shit! Fifty-four hundred thousand tons of bombs in a campaign known as Operation Minu, which he and then President Nixon pursued with without the backing or, or knowledge of Congress in an effort to destroy the. Jimmy Rook. So that's one. And he spoiled the pistols. Uh, sorry, the pistols. Kissinger was later found to have sabotaged the pistols between the US and the Viet Cong. And we have an article about that. So yeah, when a candidate conspired with a foreign power to win an election. <laughs> of course, you have fucking Nixon. Ah, I fucking hate these pieces of shit. And they are never face consequences. It's time or Kissinger's bloody role in the massacre by Indonesian forces of the East time source people would only merge decades after the fact. There's still a lot more because he was involved in Mexico too. But the most notorious, let's just jump to the ones. Most notorious ones, just like this. Chile, Salvador Allende, had been viewed as threat of U.S. hegemony in South America long before he was elected as Chilean president in 1970, at a time when much of the continent was ruled by military dictatorships propped up by um, my American support. The socialist leader implemented wide-ranging reforms to nationalize the country's copper mining industry. That's why, just for the copper. They didn't fucking care about the whole communist deal. It was just an excuse. Because, yeah, here it comes. Provide free healthcare and education to help lead the poorest out of poverty. Well, communism. And, no, but no, this one. He also reestablished diplomatic ties with the Soviet Union and Fidel Castro's Cuba. The classified reports will already show that Kissinger led to the Nixon administration efforts to destabilize the country and spent millions on covert activities to undermine his government and protect his business interests. He sent CIA's agents along with Pinochet army, and they stormed the equivalent of the White House. And they mentioned the Minecraft in that dude? No. Salvador Allende took his own uh, life. With a rifle that was designed by the Russians that Fidel Castro received from them, and he gave that said rifle to to Allende. Three years into Allende's rules, with the country facing records of inflation and widespread strikes, which were part in funded by the CIA. Ah oh, man, oh, I fucking yeah. Uh, 
A, a coup led by a General Augusto Pinochet sought the overturn of the democratically elected government. Uh, so Allende took his own life, but well, this the presidential palace on September 11 of 1973 is what when when all of this happened and what came to be known as the other 9/11. <laughs> So the government, <laughs> you know what's the coincidence there? Yeah, I'm going to mention that, yeah, the fucking coincidence that they had the other 9-11. By the U.S. government, hmm, report by the Chilean governor later found out that 40,000 people were killed, minecrafted, tortured, and imprisoned on political charges during Pinochet's regime. Yeah. Everyone displaying communism because what I said before, uh, Allende in, inducted them, uh, the country with leftist communist ideology and he said no, he fucking hates that. He fucking hates that. And what I know from someone that mentioned it, since Pinochet was against drugs, especially cocaine, he took a lot of effort to push them away and the cocaine production went to Colombia and you know the history of Pablo Escobar yay three letter agencies again and then you have Argentina kissing his provided support to the military junta on general Jorge Rafael Videla after he overthrew president Isabel Perón in March this is not as the dirty war in case you don't know, at least from what Argentina uh, said, but the unreasonable and the reasonable ones, they mentioned that this one, they engage in like shock troops, uh, Minecrafting people. Just like what happened with Mexico with Tlatelolco. This is another fact, you could check that out, Tlatelolco. And another one called Alconazo, because those two were involved by the U.S. because the fucking government said, "Oh me, we we fuck out. How what do we do? Well, uh, let's call the U.S. and tell them they are just a bunch of communists want to throw overturn all right winger country." And you know what? They they succeed and Minecrafted a lot of people too. So, and then you have Bangladesh. When war broke out in what that was we know as the East Pakistan in, in the 70s, Kissinger and Isiyan backed the military government of West Pakistan in a mass Minecraft and it what would become Bangladesh. At the time, East Pakistan was a key US ally in its geopolitical struggle against the Soviet Union and communist leading India. As the war spread and India became involved, the White House opted to back the Slaughtered by illegal transferring military hardware to the East Pakistan government. Ah, just like with Ukraine. Yeah. So, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to leave you the article, but, well. The devil has a strong, strong asset now in, in hell. I just hope that he doesn't resurrect, open the gates. And become fucking doom eternal because now nah, he should stay in hell.